Good afternoon, everyone. I am Jeff Alexander. I'm a currently a board member for the Insulating Concrete Forms Association. We're at the annual conference located here in Orlando, Florida. Today, out in the back parking lot of the nice Hilton Hotel, we're going to be doing an air cannon demonstration. It's to reflect flying debris. When we're in, we're in a hurricane storm or a tornado, it's not necessarily the wind that's the impact. It's what's driving the debris into the wall systems uh, that's really the concern. So what we're going to do is simulate uh, flying two by fours into three different wall types today. An ICF wall system on the end, it's insulated concrete forms. It's expanded polystyrene on two sides sandwiched uh, with six inches of solid poured concrete. Then we have a conventional two by four wood frame constructed home or, or wall assembly that's uh, two by four woods with insulation and on the outside is 7 16 OSB sheathing. Uh, followed by a, a conventional house wrap. The next wall assembly specimen is a typical CMU or concrete masonry unit. And then finally, we'll end up again with another uh, ICF, uh, again, or two and a half inches of foam with six inches of concrete on the outside. I'm Scott Bolton. I'm with the University of Florida. And today we're going to be uh, testing these uh, variety of walls with a two by four test. And what that does is we'll shoot the two by four at approximately 50 feet per second and see what the impact is on the different variety of walls. So basically what we have is we have a, an air tank that supplies, that creates a volume of pressure behind the actual projectile. And what that'll do is it'll allow the projectile to be driven by the pressure behind it. And it's, it's automatically controlled with a ball valve that's opened with a electronic control. The wood wall will definitely <laughs> be destroyed, but uh, I'm curious to see how the ICF walls do. Three, two, one. Okay, so pretty much results are as expected. As you can see, the wood frame wall, the, the, the stud, the 2x4 missile drove right through it all the way to the other side. On the concrete block wall, it's basically blow the whole back side out. And then on the ICF wall, which we increased the wind speed from the 50 miles an hour projectile to the 75 mile projectile, it literally just bounced off the wall. Exactly the results we expected and for the reason that we make the product that we do. All right, three, 